Hello everyone. Well, today's video is a prime demonstration of the difference between a professional driver and a professional idiot. The professional idiot being the guy that you can see in seventh place, Nebraska 4. This is at Monza in the Tatuas, and as you can see, I've qualified in fourth of 14 cars. And we're just about to get the green light and get underway for the first of six laps. Go, go, go. I get away to a good start and then get a jump on the guy that's in third and I'm able to claim that spot straight away. Let me slow this down for a moment. Look at the three of us in front, within inches of each other, doing 90 kilometers an hour, yet we don't touch. Perfect control of both the car and our temperaments. Anyway, back to the racing. The guy behind me at the moment, EFD Reft, who we'll just call Reft, he was in pole position originally. You can see he wants at least second place back. And again, check us both out here, within inches of each other, yet we don't touch. And then coming up here, I can see that he's quicker than me. So I don't try and bash him off the track. I don't try and do anything stupid. I just drop him behind. So as you can see, I'm currently in third place. As we make our way down towards Berriate Ascari, I can see I've got the guys behind doing a pretty good job of chasing me down. down into Parabolica and out onto the straight to complete lap one. All right, Gary, just keep hitting your marks. This is looking good, P3. Yellow flag, watch out. There's an incident in Cova Grande. The guy in third is going to be pissed off here as the guy in fourth cut across on him, bashed him off the track. I can see the guys in front are just getting that little bit further away from me. through Lesmo 2 in fourth gear here, something you could never do in a GT3. You'd have to have it down into second. The GT3s are actually faster than the Formula 3 Tatuas. The second of the red cars in front of me is Fatal John. He's actually a lap behind. It looks like he's jostling for position, but he's not. Again, in the GT3, you'd be down into second gear there, but you can actually get away with it in fourth. as we come to the end of lap two, I'm still hanging on to third. Just in front of me, Fatal John gets it off onto the grass. He puts it into a spin and ends up facing the wrong way.
glance at the track map and I can see I've got three guys just a couple of seconds behind me. So the guy behind me is now really closing the gap. And just here, one of our professional idiots, Large Hits, decides to pull up in the middle of the home straight. Genius. Yellow flag, right side. Hold your line. Right side's clear. OK, Gary. Halfway home. We've got plenty of fuel. That lap time was 156.6. That's your best lap in this session. And because I momentarily backed off for a moment, I lose third place, but then gain it back as the guy that took it from me overshoots. off with himself over that, all the work to get in front of me, and now he's dropped right back again. There's an incident in, let's mow one. Right side's clear. Pretty lucky there as that guy wasn't in my driving line as I blindly came around the corner. Anyway, if you thought that the idea of the guy pulling up in the middle of the straight was the most professionally dumb thing ever, we're just coming up to where Nebraska 4 is going to take the crown for the Professional Idiot of the Race Award. As I come through Ascari, this professional idiot, Nebraska 4, without checking his track map to see what's coming, backs straight out onto the track. In absolute professional idiot style, he takes me out, but to make sure his stupidity just can't be challenged beyond any reasonable doubt, also takes out the guy behind me. My car's completely totaled and I ended up back in the pit, and I assume the guy behind me as well, because he just started going off his brain in the race chat. Your suspension's looking pretty bad, mate. Well, it's worse than that, Jim. I'm about to discover that the car is completely undrivable. Yellow flag. The stewards have warned us for cutting the track. Keep it between the white lines. And that was race over for me. But thanks for watching, everyone.